acid reflux is caused when the stomach produces acid naturally, but that acid makes its way up into your esophagus and then even higher up sometimes into your throat. And that is thought to be due to either a problem with the valve at the top of the stomach, which normally stops the acid from going up into the throat, or also in some people, too much acid production from the stomach. So for most people, when they suffer from acid reflux, they might get a symptom of burning uh, in the esophageal area, so behind the breastbone. Uh, they can sometimes also get a bit of pain in the uh, upper part of the stomach area, and generally it's quite a burning kind of pain. Often worse, not surprisingly, when you lie flat, because obviously when you lie flat, the gravity is not there anymore to pull the acid back down. So often the symptoms tend to be worse at nighttime, with burning, sometimes it wakes you up from sleep, and sometimes people often sometimes feel the acid in the back of their mouth, and sometimes they even have to cough because sometimes the acid and liquid can go into your lungs. So if you're coughing a lot at night time, it may be because of acid reflux. If somebody is suffering from acid reflux, the best way to prevent it is to basically eat small meals, eat the meals early, not to lie down straight after meals. And most people will find that there are particular food triggers that tend to promote reflux. Typically things that contain caffeine, obviously like tea, coffee, um, chocolate, uh, alcohol is a big uh, precipitant for reflux, and also things like spicy food and tomatoes. So obviously if there's a clear food trigger, then obviously the best thing is to avoid it. And of course, we know that acid reflux is worse when you put on weight because the extra weight along the abdomen tends to increase the pressure and push the acid up. So obviously keeping your weight healthy is very important as well. So in order to treat acid reflux, the first thing, as we said, was to avoid the uh, triggers and the precipitants, keeping your weight healthy. The second phase is to, young, to use uh, medicines. And these can be sometimes over-the-counter medicines, which you can buy from any pharmacy, uh, typically antacids to neutralize the acid in your stomach. The, the next step up for medication would be medication prescribed by physicians and surgeons. And these are typically acid, uh, very strong anti-acid tablets that completely block the production of acid from the stomach. Examples are what we call the proton pump inhibitors like Nexium or Meprazole, uh, Lansoprazole, so on and so forth. Um, other examples are also things like H2 blockers. So these are all available, but they need prescription. The next step up from medication is to consider a surgical treatment for acid reflux. And when it comes to surgical treatment, there are a choice of different procedures we have. Uh, a common procedure which used to be performed and is still performed a lot is called the fundoplication procedure. And what this involves is taking the top part of the stomach and wrapping it around the esophagus, and that stops the acid from going up. A more modern technique is called the Lynx anti-reflux implant. And this is a very neat magnetic bracelet, which again, we use keyhole surgery to put inside and around the bottom of the esophagus. And this basically stops any acid from going into the throat, but, but allows food to come down. So these are the surgical options for, for acid reflux. If your symptoms are well controlled with um, over-the-counter tablets or medicines, then there's really no need to have surgery for reflux. Um, I would suggest people to consider surgery for reflux for the following reasons. Number one, the tablets don't work or, or have stopped working. Uh, number two, that you don't wanna take tablets for lifelong because obviously with the tablets, they only work as long as you take them. If you stop taking them, the reflux will come back. So if you're the sort of person who doesn't like taking tablets, then you might want to consider surgery. And number three, uh, there are some people who have the classical heartburn features of reflux, but they also have other symptoms like difficulty in swallowing or pain on swallowing or, or chest pains and discomforts. And often for those kind of people, the tablets don't work so good. And for those, again, surgery might be a better option as well.